as I watch this movie, God spoke to me exactly what you're saying. Every time you come, you bring word that God has been dealing with me and preparing my heart for. And Lori, you know I've told you this. We're watching A.D. the Bible. The Bible series. We watched it every Sunday and, night. And yes. I'm telling you, while we're watching it, this same crowd's alive right now. Yes. This same crowd is, isn't in America. Right. This same crowd is trying to destroy America. We're we're doing, you know, murdering our babies. We're doing all the things that kill the church, destroy the church. The church has become the enemy of America. That's right. You don't believe it? Well, you're living under a rock somewhere. <laughs> but this is what God's trying to show yes, us. Yes. God brought you there yeah. to warn us the same spirit of Antichrist that killed Jesus, that wanted him put away is alive and well right yeah, now on yeah, planet Earth. Yes, what, yeah, what, what, and I agree with you. Everything, one, of the, one of the mysteries is that not only Rome comes back, we know that, but if Rome comes back, so does persecution. And, and, so, and in the same way, but it also means if you look back to the first century, that is also the time of the greatest explosion of the spirit and the power of God. Yeah. So what it means is, you know, the last days are not just dark times. The last days are times of polarization. Yes. The dark gets darker, but the lights are to get brighter. Now the lights, the, the, the grays disappear. Yeah. What we're watching, the grays disappear. When they yeah. take the polls, they find they're actually less Christians in America now because they're less nominal Christians. Right. What happens is the grays, they weren't real to be, but the grays disappear. What's left are the real believers, yeah. but the real believers then shine. So the, the, the grays are disappearing, the black, the dark is getting darker, the lights are getting, have to get lighter. Yeah. So yes, at the same moment, it says the love of many will grow cold, evil will, but it says my, I will pour my spirit and the gospel shall be preached to all nations. So it is a double-edged sword, but it is, so in the same way if Rome is revived then the book of Acts has to revive yeah. then we have to be as they were God is calling us to be that yeah. and so one of the things about persecution it forces us to go one way or the other yeah. it, it forces us to either go terribly or become the great per the great but a disciple yeah. we were meant to be. Yeah. God wants the book of Acts again. That's why Jewish believers are back, because they were back, they were then. That's why, that's why Israel's back, because it was back then in the book yeah. of Acts. That's why the, the outpouring of the Spirit has, has been back. All these things, it's not, you know, you could the bad side, but look at the good side. If Rome is back, we have to be, if it's the, that civilization is coming back, we have to become the same believers as we're back in the time of Rome. Absolutely. That's the point. That's what. And, but, exactly. but, but that was... Yeah. That was, that was one object I saw. But then oh. there was one other object, which, which is right next to the Colosseum. And I've talked about this object, but I never saw it. I didn't even know it was right there. It's on a little hill. You, you see the Colosseum, you go up a hill, and there you see this arch. And this arch is an arch from which all these other arches came. You have the Arch of uh, de, de Triomphe, the Napoleon. All these things were based on this arch, Roman arch. What is the arch? It's the Arch of Titus. The Arch of Titus, same guy, same one who built the Colosseum, same one who destroyed the temple. It is now he has an arch named after him. And that arch was built to celebrate uh, not only Titus, but the destruction of Israel, uh -huh. the destruction of the temple, that Israel is dead. The Jewish people are no more a nation. They are scattered, will never be a nation again. You have the Arch of Titus standing in Rome. So, so that, and, and on the Arch of Titus, you see a, a relief, a graphic relief of the Romans carrying away the treasures of the temple. And so in their hands, they have the silver trumpets on that arch. In their hands, they have the table of the showbread, of the bread of the presence. And in their hands, they have the menorah of God. That's all there celebrating. It, you, you take it like it's the enemy behind it saying, yes, you know, Israel's finished, will never be again. It's the enemy behind that. So that arch has stood for 2,000 years. In fact, rabbis have said to Jewish people, don't ever go through that arch you know, until Israel came back because you're, you cannot be part of what this is. So this is declaring Israel's dead. But God had other plans. God's word said Israel will come alive again. The yeah. word of God. Yeah, you have this yeah. massive arch, and then you have, this, you have this word of God scroll, but God's word was in that scroll, and it said that nation will come alive again. And, then, and so therefore, after 2,000 years, Israel came back into the world according to God. But you have that arch of Titus. Now, one of the things, when that arch of Titus was there, when Israel came back, someone wrote, you can't see it now, someone wrote graffiti on the top of that arch, and it, it was Hebrew graffiti. And it said, it said in Hebrew, Am Yisrael Chai, the nation of Israel is alive again, Ooh. lives, lives again. And, yes. and so, the, the, so, the, so the thing is that 
the enemy wanted Israel dead, destroyed, never come back, because he knows that they come back, he's in trouble, because this, this is the prophecy of God. So therefore, here's the thing, but here's what the Archer Titus tells us. When Israel came back, they had to come up with a symbol for, to represent the newborn, resurrected Israel. Now, if you ask, what's the symbol? You think, well, it's the Star of David, it's the flag. No, that's the flag. But the symbol of Israel, the official symbol of Israel, is the seven-branch menorah of God in that burned in the holy place of the temple, burned in the night. That seven branch that's in Exodus was there. But the problem is there was no, there was no way anybody could know exactly how it looked like, you know, what it looked like, because they really had no real depiction of it at the time. So, but except one, the Arch of Titus. The Arch of Titus that was built to celebrate the destruction of Israel inadvertently preserved the holy vessels because they put it in stone. So here the enemy meant to destroy it, but by doing that, he ended up preserving. We can see exactly how that menorah looked. So when Israel had to come up with its official symbol of resurrection, they went to the Arch of Titus. Oh and they, they saw, and they, they, they took that. When you look at the official seal of Israel, it's from the Arch of Titus. Oh. So what does that tell you? What does that tell us? Well, here's the thing. You know, we say that what, what, what the enemy does, he tries to take what God uses, uses for his word. What God, here's the bigger, better thing. God takes all that the enemy does and turns it around for his glory and his purposes. Yes. Everything. Yes. 